Hey y'all, Silvox here. So a while back you saw me actually test out some shoes that you could use with VR. These are the EPO ones by Drop Labs. They're haptic shoes, so you can actually fill everything inside of these shoes. Whenever it comes to music, whenever it comes to sounds, you can fill it from the sole of the shoe to your sole and your body. Now last video I actually played around with these, had a good time with them, thought they were fantastic. And now today, I'm actually going to be taking them inside of VR. So I've got my Oculus Quest 2 over here, I've got my shoes, and I've got the gaming cord right here. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna plug them up to the back of the shoe, I'm going to go over here in front of my green screen and we're going to play three different games. That's six. We're going to play three different games. <laughs> we're going to play three different games, test them out and see how they fill the shoes. So for those of you that are unaware of what haptics actually are, so in these shoes, whenever there's music played, whenever there's sound played, you can actually fill the movement, the vibration, all that from the shoes. Now at first you might think, man, that's going to tickle my feet, it's not going to feel great. I thought the same thing at first, but it feels absolutely incredible. To the point where I do put these on at times just to give myself a foot massage, play some music, and relax. So we're going to be testing these out with three different games today. First up, we have got Beat Saber. Next up, we have got Swarm. And the last but not least, we have Blast On. So we've got one rhythm game and two shooters, and I'm ready to see exactly how much we can feel with these shoes while playing these games. So without further ado, let's go check it out. And guys, if you want to check out Drop Labs for yourself, I'm going to leave a link to their EPO ones inside of the description. Feel free to check them out. Honestly, this is a very, very unique shoe. One like I've never seen. I hope you all get the chance to try them. And if you do, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on them. I would love to hear. Now, without further ado, let's hop inside of the virtual world. All right, so the goal for this was to actually give you guys kind of like my live reactions. I did have a few audio issues with my mic. So I'm going to go ahead and just give my thoughts as some of the video here just plays out. So I loaded up. And I do not play Beat Saber on Quest. This is this is something very, very new for me. So I was not quite used to it. Um, you know, you get the sabers off just a little bit from what I'm used to. But overall, still had a great time with it. I think the game still looks absolutely fantastic. Now, even in the lobby, I could already feel the beats. And just as the song started, I was I was really impressed. It felt really good. You could feel the whole entire background. And uh, I was really expecting to feel the slashes. I thought with every slash, I would feel that, you know, hit. But it didn't. Instead, it focused a lot more upon the actual music, which was really nice. It, uh, it felt like the immersion of it was up there a lot more. I feel like I could definitely wear these in the future, especially during streams. I love doing Beat Saber streams and actually having these on will feel rather incredible. So Be There For You was not the only song I actually played. I also went and played Run The Bass. Before I did that, I'll hop on the Drop Labs app. I brought up the settings. You can actually change the different uh, settings in order to fill different types of uh, vibrations. And the one I set it on for this one was Maximum Bass. And it did not disappoint. This one felt incredible before. I was playing on one that was set for FPS because I was thinking that it was going to be for video games. I'll try that out. But this one, way better. Way, way better. Especially with the song. The song absolutely just embodies bass. I mean, it has bass in the title. And I really felt it. This one I feel like is where it shined the most out of the two songs that I tried, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. So my overall thoughts for Beat Saber is that it does add a huge level of immersion. It feels great actually filling the background music all up in your feet. Um, like I said, you don't feel the slashes, which I was thinking you would, but you don't. But still, it feels great with just the music itself. Now we're going to move over to Swarm. Now Swarm, I was impressed from the second I loaded up the game because before I even got into a match, the lobby music was phenomenal. Everything was kind of like monotone with this hum that it had, and it felt really good. Like, even better than Beat Saber, just starting off in the lobby, which I was shocked about. I have to neutralize all of them. Stop. 
Now actually hop into the gameplay, you have grapples, you're gonna whip yourself around the map, all the while these swarms of alien creatures, ships, I don't know what they are, mechanical robots? Maybe that's it. They're flying around, your goal is to swing around the map, knock them out as they go from portal to portal. The game itself is really intense, there's a lot of movement, I was hindered a little bit by the cables, but I was still able to manage to swing myself around and have a great time with this. Now something I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed with this one is that you felt every single shot that you made. You felt the explosions, you felt the music, everything here you could feel. This was like even more immersive than it was with Beat Saber. Here we go, taking out the boss, we are good. Now this one was rather quick, but personally, I would take that one even over Beat Saber. Now we're gonna be moving on to Blast On, a 1v1 dueling game by Resolution Games. And everything here is gonna be moving in slow motion by opponent. He's not. The shots that we make, they will be. So as you see here, we're grabbing the shotgun, taking a few shots, the bullets, everything's gonna be traveling in slow motion. You gotta to try to dodge the best of your abilities while also trying not to smack all the walls that are around you. I, I smacked a few of them during this recording. <laughs> but you've got a you know, huge variety of different weapons. Everything feels different. You can feel a little bit of the crowd cheering in the background. The 3, 2, 1 as it's counting you into the next round. I feel like that is the highlight. It feels like it's super bass boosted in your feet. It feels great. But you can still feel the sniper shots. You can feel all the shots that you're making. That made for a lot of fun and a, uh, a high level immersion. So I know this was kind of a quick video and I'm just going to give you all kind of an oversight of everything I felt here, but I did want to say, out of the three games I played, I feel like Swarm was the best. Um, not only for the music, the music was bumping, it felt great, it had a uh, kind of a high tempo, but it felt like there was a lot of bass involved. It also felt great feeling every single bullet go from the guns, like that felt incredible. Now these things are ready to play with different video games, however, I think in order for them to be ready to play in VR, they do need to get those wireless adapters, so I would say give that a little bit of time, go ahead and pick up the shoes for yourself, play, have a great time with them, listen to music, because they are that's where they shine really, they shine with music. But if you want to use them for gaming, I would say give it just a little bit more time until they come out with those wireless adapters, that way you're not you know, tripping up over the cords, you have more mobility, more freedom and you'll actually be able to enjoy it more at its full capacity. But Drop Labs, I want to say thank you all for sponsoring today's video. Guys, like I said, if you want to check them out, there's a link in the description. Feel free to check them out. Highly recommend the shoes themselves for the music, but if you want it for VR, hold off just a little bit longer, and then pick them up. Thank you all for hanging out with me on this video. I'm sorry that things were a little bit, you know, all over the place. I did have something else planned, but I did have some audio issues, and uh, I'm just trying, to, just trying to roll with it. Just trying to make sure this works out, and uh, hopefully it did. If it did, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you all as part of the Soul Guard. And uh, I believe that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.